The purpose of this video is to give a quick demonstration on the upgrade procedure for a wireless LAN controller. The first step is to download the firmware that we want the controller to be upgraded to. You can download the latest firmware for the wireless LAN controller from the Cisco.com software download section. For this, you need to have a service contract with Cisco. In this demo, we will be using a 4404 wireless LAN controller which runs version 5.1 and we will upgrade the firmware to the latest version which is 7.0.116.0 at the time when this video was recorded. To download the software, let's select support and use the software search feature. Let's enter wireless LAN controller and click on find. This page lists the various models of wireless LAN controllers. Let's select Cisco 4400 series wireless LAN controller. And then the specific model which is 4404 in our case. And select software on chassis. And click on wireless LAN controller software. This page will list the various versions of software available. As you can see, we have two files listed for the version 7.0.116.0. The first file is the controller boot software and the second one is the firmware. Let's download them and store it on a TFTP server. While the download process is on, let's discuss an important point. We cannot directly jump from any version to the latest version on a wireless LAN controller. In some instances, we may have to upgrade to an intermediate release before we actually upgrade to the latest version. The upgrade path available in the release notes of the firmware will give information on this and it is a good practice to check the upgrade path before performing the upgrade. OK, we have downloaded the software and have made it available on the root directory of the TFTP server. Let's now directly jump to the controller upgrade procedure. The controller can be upgraded using three methods. You can use either the graphical user interface on the controller, or you can use the wireless LAN controller command line interface, or you can use a wireless control system. In this video, we will look at the upgrade procedure using the wireless LAN controller GUI and the CLI. We will look at the upgrade procedure using the WCS in another video. Let's now look at the wireless LAN controller upgrade procedure using the command line interface. Upgrading the wireless LAN controller using the command line interface is very simple. We need to execute a sequence of commands to configure the TFTP server settings and then initiate the upgrade process. Let's now log into the CLI of the controller and configure the TFTP server details. Let's now configure the mode of the file transfer as TFTP using the command transfer download mode TFTP. Next, let's configure the TFTP IP address using the command transfer download server IP 10.78.177.5, which is a TFTP server IP address that we'll be using. We will issue the transfer download path command to define the path where the file is stored. In our case, we have stored the file in the root directory and hence we use dot as a path. And finally, we mention the name of the image file using the command transfer download file name and the name of the file. All the other TFTP related parameters can be left at the defaults. Now that our TFTP server is ready, let's initiate the upgrade process using the command transfer download start. Once we execute the command, the upgrade process begins and we will be able to monitor the sequence of events which happen during the upgrade. As you can see, the controller has been upgraded to the latest version and as a final step, we need to reboot the controller. Let us look at the upgrade procedure using the wireless LAN controller graphical user interface. Let's log into the controller.
The current version of the firmware on the controller is 5.1.163.0. To upgrade the firmware, select commands from the top menu. It takes us to the download file to controller page. Here the file type is by default set to the code and the transfer mode is TFTP which are the correct parameters for the upgrade. Under the server details enter the TFTP server IP address and under the file name enter the image file name and then click on download. The controller begins the upgrade process and we will be able to see the sequence of events that happen on the graphical user interface. Alright, the upgrade procedure has been completed and we need to reboot to complete the upgrade process. We can follow the same process to upgrade the boot file on the controller as well. I hope the information provided in this video was useful. Do post your feedback and suggestions on what videos you would like to see on the Cisco support community.